Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can take a photo just like this and turn it into a pencil sketch just like the one on the right in Photoshop. If you would like to follow on with this video tutorial, I'll give you the link to download this file from Morgfile. Morgfile allows you to download images free of charge provided you do something with them. Here we're editing it to make it a pencil sketch. To start, I'm going to take the background layer and add it to the new layer icon so I end up with a duplicate of this layer. I'm going to set this top layer blend mode to color dodge. And then I'm going to invert this layer and I can do that by choosing image adjustments and then invert. But I could also press Control or Command I. The result should be that the entire image goes to white. So that we can edit this later on and fine tune it, we're going to create this layer as a smart filter layer. So I'll click on this layer and choose Filter, Convert for Smart Filters and click OK. Now we're going to apply a Gaussian Blur. Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. The Gaussian Blur filter allows us to get the detail out of the edges of the image. It does it because we're blurring this layer. So we're just going to look for good image detail, the kind of image detail that we may want to use. I'm probably going to go a little bit higher than I really need to, and I'll click OK. But this is fully editable at any time. I can come back to the Gaussian Blur and adjust it. That's why I like to use Smart Filters here, because it gives us something that we can adjust at a later date. Now we've got a color sort of effect and we want a black and white one because that's going to be more suggestive of a pencil sketch. So I'm going to choose Layer, New Adjustment Layer and I'm going to select Hue Saturation. Because by setting saturation to minus 100, I can remove all the color from the image. And there we have the basics of our pencil sketch. If you're happy with that, then you're done. But you may want to be able to edit it, so I'm going to show you a couple of tricks for doing so. One of the tricks is where you want to lighten the image. So I'm going to select this background layer and I'm going to add a curves adjustment in between these two layers with Layer, New Adjustment Layer and then Curves. I'll click OK. And now I'm going to increase the curve. So I'm going to do it until I lighten all the areas of the image that potentially I may want to lighten. So I may want to lighten around the edges here and I may want to remove some of the darkness on her skin. So I'm just going to do all of that and then close the Curves dialog. I'll go here and click on the layer mask that is attached to the Curves dialog. Black is my background color, so I'm going to press Control Backspace, Command Delete on the Mac and that fills this layer with black. The effect is that we don't have this curves adjustment applied to the image at all. So we've added a curves adjustment and then hidden it. If we go now to the brush tool and select a nice soft brush, something like this, that has a fairly low hardness, I'm actually going to wind it up to about 42 in hardness, and select white as our color here, and then click on the mask, then we can start painting in areas of the image that we want to lighten the image. And what's happening with this mask is we're able to see through to the curves adjustment that we just made. So we're actually applying this lighter adjustment to the image in the areas that we're painting on with white. And so I'm just going to paint out the areas where I don't want detail from the original image, probably in the background here. And I may want to paint out some of the detail here on the young woman's face. Now if there are areas of the image where you would like to darken the effect, you can do that too. And I suggest that you duplicate this layer because that will allow you to remove this effect later on if you don't like it. Otherwise you're just working on an original layer. So we're going to the background copy layer here and the way that we're going to darken it is to go here to the Burn tool. It shares a toolbar position with the Dodge and Sponge tools. It's the Burn tool that we're looking for. Now I'm going to set my exposure to around 25% and I'm going to set it to mid-tones. So what's happening here now is I can burn in detail on the underlying image. So anywhere I paint, I'm going to increase the darkness of the underlying image, which is going to increase the darkness of my overall image. So I'm just going to adjust the size of my brush 
Now if I think I'm painting on the darkness too fast, then I'm just going to decrease the exposure a little bit. Exposure is sort of like the speed at which you're painting on darkness. So you may want to do it a little bit slower so that you can be a little bit more subtle in your effect. So I'm going to darken around her eyes so I get a bit more detail in her eyes. Might also darken around her nose and in this area of the nose. And I may want to also darken her lips. Just going to make my brush a little bit smaller and I can just paint over her lips to just darken those areas. So where the filters that we applied didn't give us quite the effect we were looking for, we can adjust it. We can make it lighter with the curves adjustment layer so we can paint out the areas where we don't want detail and then using a burn effect on the original image, we can actually darken areas where we actually want a little bit more darker detail. And that allows us to fine tune our pencil sketch look. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials here on my YouTube channel. And consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications, including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.